Chris, Emo 2019, been a busy year for Sodic. You've uh, got a fantastic new HQ in Warwickshire now, but tell me a little bit about what people are seeing on your stand at Emo 2019. Okay, um, Sodic are well known for being an EDM company first and foremost, so die sinking, wire erosion, EDM fast hole drill. Um, I think the emphasis this year on uh, the Emo exhibition is that we're demonstrating some new products. Uh, so some new equipment that's been bought, uh, we're, we're available to sell now within Europe. It's always been available in the domestic market of Japan, so some, uh, uh, some high performance uh, injection moulding machines and some, uh, some high speed machining sensors as well. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, as well as the OPM machine of course, which is still considered brand new. So we're just kind of opening up the portfolio of Sodic really and showing people some more products. I know it's great to talk about these, but can we take a look at some of this technology? Yeah, sure, let's go and have a look around, yeah. Now, Chris, what I like about the additive manufacturing machine, the OPM that you've got here, you're not just um, making metal, you're also milling it, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. So this is the one process machine. Which we have done a piece on this before with you guys. So this is the ability to create, using a sintering process, um, a mould form that we can then mill while we're sintering. So what we're creating is a mould form that's finished, so it can have conformal cooling running through it, and then the surfaces of the mould tool are finished um, with a very, a very good surface finish. And effectively then that can be removed from this machine and then actually put directly into a, a moulding machine here. So this is the, one of the new products from Sodic, which is uh, uh, an all-electric version of, a, of, a, of an injection moulding machine used uh, predominantly in the, the kind of electrical markets or, or medical markets. Um, and they use all electric because they want a, a very clean and accurate method of moulding. Uh, plastics or composites. And from a UK point of view, is this going to be popular? Uh, yeah, actually it is. We haven't actually started marketing this in the UK yet and yet we're, we're already uh, receiving uh, kind of reports that uh, people are interested so they're already requesting demonstrations and trials over in the UK. So yes, it's a very popular product. And what's quite interesting about the you know, two processes, it's very different from your traditional sort of EDM background, isn't right. it? That's, that's how, the whole kind of theme of Emo this year is, uh, you know, first and foremost, we're known as EDM. Um, but, but there are other products in the range as well, so it's Sodic's way of increasing their portfolio. Now, Sodic aren't very well known for machining centres, but this, this is quite incredible. 40,000 RPM? That's right, yeah. Um, again, it's another product that Sodic aren't traditionally known for making high-speed machining centres, but they are very good at making linear motors, and this incorporates uh, linear motor technology, which is, of course, very accurate, very high speed. Uh, yeah, you're correct, 40,000 RPM spindle speed, um, only the use of very, very small cutters, so the ability to create very fine forms uh, for maybe the medical market or maybe the connector industry or the watchmaking industry. Uh, so yeah, again, another product, very high end, so sits right at the top of the pyramid as far as machining centres. Um, but yeah, no, another great product. And I suppose with a, a lot of these products that you can now show them in the new HQ yeah, in the absolutely. UK. Yeah, yeah, they're all, they're all sitting there as standard. So obviously you've got a nice big showroom now. So all of these products are just available for customers to come in a view in Warwick. Chris, a lot of interest on this machine. Now this is the di one of your die sinking range. But we don't talk about this very often on MTD CNC with regards to die sinking, but you're very, very, very popular machine, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> big, big business for Sodic. Um, it's probably our, our biggest business, EDM die sinking. It's where the, the, the main differences between linear motors and conventional ball screw technology kick in. Um, so very popular. This is the AG80 machine, so one of the bigger versions of the machine with a 32 station tool changer on the side of it as well. Um, heavy use of ceramic components which is uh, very important for retaining thermal accuracy on the machine tool uh, and of course high pulse uh, linear motor um, on the Z axis as on X and Y axis as well so it gives you the ability to create forms uh, very very accurately. And is, is die sinking still quite popular you know not, not just uh, worldwide but in the UK? Absolutely we've sold more EDM die sinkers this year than we have wire rotors uh, to my knowledge so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a market that's uh, very popular in the aerospace industry uh, and, and autom automotive or Formula One as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a big business for us. Chris, this is a smaller dicing, the AG60L. Now, automation. Now, we see a lot of automation uh, in the machine tool sector, but with EDM? Yeah, it's not massively popular in the UK, um, but we're demonstrating it here to show that an EDM machine can be automated. So the ability to change pallets and uh, change electrodes automatically um, obviously for maybe long-running jobs or if you want to load the machine up to run over a weekend or even a week, 
and we've got the ability to do it with this machine. So it's just again showing kind of the flexibility of the Sonic range really. I think this will become popular and I think the reason why is it does de-skill and finding skilled staff these days is really difficult. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, it's one of the biggest challenges we find as a company is finding skilled people. Um, so yeah, I guess that uh, there could be an option to uh, yeah, relieving, relieving that headache, yeah. Now Chris, this is a smaller version of the ALC. Now, you do precision EDM machines or your whole range at Sodic, but this is ultra precision. That's right. So Sodic, all of the wire rotors in the range are built to plus or minus two to three microns, which in most cases is more than enough for everybody, uh, what everybody needs. This is plus or minus one micron. And uh, the, the reason for that is there's an inverter chiller built into this, which actually controls the dielectric fluid a lot more accurately. Um, and therefore the, the thermal uh, stability of the machine is much greater. Um, you've also got, of, of course, the standard, the high use of ceramic components, which makes the, the, the whole process very stable. Um, even, even down to the, the, the doors, which are carbon fibre, which actually help, help uh, weight shift uh, when you're opening and closing the doors. Um, so yeah, there's a number of reasons, and this is all about precision. This is this is because customers have fed back saying they actually want something a little bit more accurate than two to three microns, so this is one micron. Well, that's what I was going to say, actually, because you're not just going to actually design a machine. It's based on the knowledge and what your customers are looking for at the end of the day. And who would this appeal to? Again, um, maybe the watchmakers or, or aerospace people or anybody who's chasing a micron, really. So, you know, there is a 600 version of this as well, so you don't necessarily have to have the 400 version of it. Um, it's, just, it's just basically for people who are, who are looking for that level of precision. And a couple of um, additional options on there, there's a, there's a, a high-powered CCD camera there and a, and a probe system, which, uh, which, which is shown up here on the control system as well. Um, I, I've got the ability to import solid models on this machine tool as well, as well as 2D programming. So, uh, so, so really, it's all equipped so that the operator can, can take care of, of anything he needs to do. Now, a vast range of solutions for, for engineers, but I, I presume with the new HQ, you can actually demonstrate all this, what you've got at EMO 2019 back in Warwickshire. Yeah, exactly. Again, this machine's installed in the showroom there, so uh, we are speaking to a few customers about this level of technology now, and, uh, and anybody else who, who's looking for ultimate precision, as well as backup and support, then come and see us at Warwick. And someone tells me in November, you've got three special days, have you? Oh yeah, that's right, open house. Yeah, well done, Mark. Yeah, 19th, 20th and 21st of November, we're opening the doors to the new facility. Um, so that's going to be our open house, the first open house in the new facility. So everybody's welcome to come along and, uh, and have a look at us.